himself. The other one, as you heard in the video, had a bit of retirement and he is absolutely killing it on his comeback tour. Ladies and gentlemen, can everyone please be upstanding? Please stand up, hop on your feet. This is the greatest arm wrestler of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect storm, John Brzezink. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect storm, John Brzezink is here. He's taking one of his most epic opponents ever in Denis Siplenko. John looks ready, John is focused. He is the greatest of all time. It's a treat for us to keep watching him pull. 50 years old, 110 kilos, absolutely the best there ever is, the best there ever was, John Brzenk. There it is. He is at the table, the greatest of all time. And he is going to have some sort of inhumane opponent right next to him can we please welcome back to super match arm wrestling format this is the cyborg dennis Siplenko. Siplenko, probably one of the most impressive pullers of all time and i never thought i will see him return let alone be here announce this match versus him and john berzank ladies and gentlemen all over the world we we are in for a treat. 40 years old, 125 kilos, big, massive, strong, and ready. If you think Dennis's hands are amazing or big, you should feel the goosebumps on my arm. I just cannot believe I just introduced John Brzezink and Dennis Saplenkov to the table in a comeback match. Look at the size of him. That is just a legend versus a legend. Icon Absolutely. versus icon. Coach Ray, we are here in 2023 calling John Brzezink versus Dennis Leplengoff. John, right now, straight to the straps. Dennis wanted to go straight for the straps, set grip by WL, pretty much what they used before. And uh, you can, in King of Table, you can choose either WF or set grip. They went straight to the straps. John has some thumb issues. He said that would be better. Look at that hand of Dennis. It is something else. That is sausage fingers personified. <laughs> I tell you, he is just uh, the cyborg. Dennis Saplenkov, he's just got to wrap around there. But hey, he had a big, massive hand back at Vendetta in Las Vegas. And it was the man on the other side of the table. The greatest, the GOAT, was the one to able to get it done. Can history repeat itself? Or is it Dennis's turn to have the I'm great so story with the comeback? I, this, is, this is absolutely things I dream about in the world of armor sling for I don't know how, how many years. Just to being here and, you know, witnessing the history right here in front of us. John Berzank, Dennis Tipenko, let's... Let's go. Round one. It is happening. Two of the greatest. Uh, the tension in the room. And there's the hit. Oh! Dennis is holding back. He's holding back. And Dennis, Dennis looks like in control. But John stops him. John's pronator still holds. John is trying to work that hand of Dennis. Right there. Dead in the center. Now, Dennis's bicep is just going to explode. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. It's a surge. John wow. gets it. Wow. Oh, what a John, catch! John. What a catch from John Brzezik, but he's conceded round one. I think, I think he did a smart job there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the match. We are in the match. Welcome back. Wow. That is the flick of the hairs on oh, the back of my neck are standing up. They probably poke Coach Ray in the eye. But geez, the surge from Dennis, and then John acted like he was an outfielder in baseball. That catch was something else. We um, have a match, Coach Ray. Oh, we we are have a match. a match. This is the things we dream about. We are witnessing it. I just hope, I just hope John has great strategy, better strategy than he had in his last match, and he uses it very wisely. He was losing his pronator too much, and he just conceived this match. But he made Dennis work. And that's what you want to get with the guys with big arms, with big muscles. You won't get a lot of blood in those arms because they get pumped real fast. John isn't the most muscular guy. If you look at, hey, 
I'm going to I'm going to tell my kids that, you know, that is the Santa Claus, you know, comes every year and gives us presents. Oh, he is just greatness personified. He is looking incredible. I can't believe John just got a stop. Now, everyone thought Dennis was going to blow over and take it. Now, he's done the hit. Now, the monkey's off the back. The, the cobwebs are gone. Can Dennis now shift and go into level two in round number two? John looking calm. He's been here before. He's been 1-0 before. But now, as Dennis walks around to the table... Dennis Siplenko, 40 years old versus 58 years old. John Berzank, there's a reason. There's a reason. Every single person that knows arm wrestling knows who the greatest puller of all time is. And he's right there he's right on there. screen. He is there on screen. They're straight into the straps. So every round will start into the straps, guys. You see Dennis just looking to kick back, and he almost went full-blown king's move. Even Bill's having trouble trying to wrap the strap around those mitts. They are absolutely massive. But if one person can stop the giant hand of Dennis, it's the man staring across the other side of the table at him. I can't wait for the next five rounds to go because that first one was nothing John is, short of incredible. John is looking very good, very calm, not sweating much. That's he good. had his respiratory issues, and we keep forgetting that he is almost 60 years old. He's almost 60 years old. You will not see other athletes on the planet like him. He's one of a kind. He's the perfect storm, and he has a big challenge in front of him. Here we go. Turn of Denis Tiplenko. Round number two, the grips there. Bill's ready to pull the pin on these two grenades Close and just hands. let them go. Ready? Oh, oh. 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 you saw the hook oh, coming God. in. John was ready for it. A little bit. Center. Let's go, Back Bill. Hey, the anticipation. You should hear the dead silence Thumbs. of the space in Dubai. Oh, gentlemen, no moving. It's the moment. Close your hands. This is what we've waited for. Oh. 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 <laughs> Both having a smile there, but John's not playing into the funny games. No jokes are being told here. John is dead serious about this. John's John going in for a serious. hook. Oh. I feel like John, John feels like he has things to prove. All righty, we're going to get it man on a mission. Here we go. Hey. Ready, bang. Oh. Go, try <laughs> for that hook. Try for the hold on, hold on. John went in for the hook and stopped him again. Hey, Millimeter I, from the pad. The thing was with John, with, we were talking yesterday, and he said, looking at all the practice matches with uh, Dennis, no one tests him inside. Everyone tried. He's like, I would love if we could test him inside. I believe he's going to stay on outside from now on. Maybe later rounds he will go inside. I would still keep on giving a little bleed, a little pump on Dennis's arm for this to be a match. Dennis Siplenko, 2-0 ahead. Yeah, John Brzezink needs to get into his inner 80s slasher movie. Wow, just get so close. I cannot believe you couldn't even fit a playing card underneath that stop there. And then Dennis making another hit and getting the pin. That is something else. Look at Dennis. He's on his knees. That's taken a lot out of him. Adrenaline. Adrenaline kicks in. Uh, I, I believe we saw it a lot in the first match where the adrenaline kicked in right from the start for Sabin, and then he slowly came down from it and get, you know, get the grips of it. Dennis is getting pumped. That's what John wants. Dennis right now still looking like a beast. He told me he's about 25% from his best shape ever. So he there's, feels like there's a lot of improvement. But John told to us today in a pre-show, if you watch, he's like, I'm not that far from my yeah. best. My shoulder feels pretty damn good. And look what he's holding. I mean, to, to catch him twice now. And John still feels really good. So now, can I, I think John's goal is round three is to ensure that he can see Dennis's heart beat through his bicep. That's how much he wants to pump him up. That's how much he wants to bleed the big man we are this is 2023 this is real life we're in round three of john brzink versus dennis Saplenkov here at king of the table six i cannot believe it they are ready to go to battle uh we are we, we're pumped up we are just I'm, jumping I'm up and so down back to you. this is this is the best experience probably <laughs> by our career so 
This is amazing. Yeah, John Brzeng, Dennis Ciplenko, right here, right now, in Dubai, from space, live. We want to thank every single one of you who bought the pay-per-view. Because if you bought the pay-per-view, you are supporting these athletes. And if you didn't, you're a bellin. Yeah, that's right. Absolute pelican. If you're one of those pirates, we don't want you to uh, get uh, out of here. Don't let the door hit you where God split you. But let's get back to the amazing match here. John Brzeng. Dennis Saplenkov. Round number three. I mean, we have to keep saying their names because I think we're just... Let's see what John stop. does. I believe he goes for a top roll. He will try to stop him this time. Let's see if Dennis Endurance holds up. Round number three. Close your hands. It's happening. John has... Dennis leans into it. John holds on. Dennis tries to get that pronator in good position. We see the stoicism in his face. But John's trying to protect that... Pronated. There's a lot of hand on Dennis. Dennis slowly turning, getting position, getting position. John Doesn't look pumped at all. On for dear life as Dennis is in his best Harley Davidson impersonation. But it's John holding on. We are stuck there. Oh, oh. Zakan buckles. Zakan buckles. Oh. Can't hold on so much too long. Wow. Dennis had to put in his inner backstreet boys because the smash hits just kept coming. And that's what you need to do in order to pin John Brzee. It's, it's not easy, but Dennis Ciplenko is comfortably beating John Brzee right now. 3-0. The round number four will tell us if there's going to be round number seven. As we look to the replay here, that just that last surge. I mean, there's only so many times uh, an absolute cyborg of Dennis can make big hits, big drives, big dumps like that. And John couldn't hold on with that last drive. Just took him off guard. And it is 3-0 in the comeback match to Dennis Saplenkov. Talking with Dennis, Dennis told me that uh, he worked a lot of on table. He did like more table sessions than he usually does. And he said his endurance has increased. His table would say IQ because he stops the match. He is in a very good position. He's in much control, and he works from there. And he's looking very good. This is the return of Denis Siplenko like we wanted to see it. But John Berzenk is still John Berzenk. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy. And we are absolutely oh, happy blessed. Happy doesn't even describe it. Don't you dare lie to the people Irak watching this. Heracles and John's corner. I think Heracles just reminding him. Hey, I bet yeah, <laughs> not that long ago. Heracles showing him the dead wrist press. Yeah. He's like... Could you try this? The, the old the old bait and move. He's yeah, yeah got to try and teach him how to catfish Dennis. Yeah. But this is just something else. Uh, that round was nothing short of amazing. Dennis is ready. What will John do? What will John do? Because John can again try maybe go inside, but that back pressure of Dennis is insane. All those sideways surges and plus hand. Like, you can see him gaining position with his hand every single time they stopped. So while they stopped, it wasn't like Dennis was just sitting there and waiting. No, he was working. He was trying to get position. Uh, I just feel bad for everyone that's watching this live at the Space in Dubai because they paid for a full seat, but they're only using the edge of it. This is something yes. good. I mean, the tension is real here. Half of the people are on their feet. They are, uh, yeah. The, the excitement is real. The respect out there. John was looking for his nod. He really wanted it. And I think after these first three rounds, he'll get it. But the question is, Ray, can John bring Dennis? to his side of the table. Can the great one get a pin on Let's Dennis? Let's see if, because this is the moment. This is it. Either Dennis Saplenko wins this match or we're in for a battle. Here we go. Round four. Go! And there's the hit there. John with the back pressure in the middle of the table. But it's the surge from Dennis and the hits keep coming. He's just loading the shotgun up. Now John is tiring, he's wincing there, he's trying to get through the fingers, but he's losing his wrist there. Dennis and is pulling very smart, very smart. As you see now, he's gaining position, waiting, 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 baiting, baiting. Me? Elbow came off Me? the second time for John, so that's, an, that's two elbow falls, I think. Okay, break a part or second. Let's see what is the call from Bill. 
as we see, people are excited. People are excited. The way that John Brzezin can stop the match is already impressive. Yeah, so uh, I think Bill's looking to see how many elbow fouls there was. So there's one. <laughs> so they're just, they're just there. Having... No, no, just hand. Okay, so we can hear John. I thought we could hear uh, Bill and Tim, the referees there on screen. So they're just looking to see how many elbow fouls John had. You saw it in the rules meeting. This was something that John was discussing and just wanting clarification on. Two fouls to John Brzezink. Two fouls to John Brzezink. John Brzezink yeah. Thank you very much, Captain Bill. So he lifted the table up, fair, lifted it up again to get an advantage. Second foul there. Oh, Dennis. Okay. Welcome back. Hey, oh, welcome back. Fight. Yes. Welcome back, back Dennis. Dennis. As much as I wanted to see John Brzezink win, I'm really happy that Dennis is back in the picture. Yes, because John, we can put John up against anyone and we're buying the pay per view. Uh, but for now, Dennis, to be doing this. Uh, and back, just like everyone else, the real is starting question to is, come back. How much of his best shape he can regain or increase? Because there are titans in the sport. Sport is different since he left. Yes, yes, and he's finding that out the hard way. He has been in a bit of struggle town the first couple of rounds, but yeah, he's just been able to have composure, have calmness in him, and he's now finding himself one pin away from winning this Stop matchup. Down. So let's see how round four goes. John Brzezink just needs to get it, needs to get a pin. He doesn't want to fail in this one. No. There's the hit. The no, wins no, from no. John, the press, the two strong. Straight. straight to the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I Welcome back, start. Dennis Siblanko. We'll start. So John, I, was, I was way underneath his hand. Yeah, so John just acknowledging that it was a terrible start. So we'll see. I, I, I would love to see two more rounds. Let's see if they, I think they're going to pull two more rounds because that would be, that would be good. Right? Yes. One more round. One more round. Keep going. Pull the six. Give us what we want, John. Hook, hook, hook. Hook, John. Hook. That's the round out there. Yeah, John just acknowledging he just had a terrible start there. He was way too deep in Dennis's hands. Congratulations to Dennis. He has won this match, but there's still a continuation. When you take the strap down, it's been turned way underneath it. So it is now 4 0. So Love Kids is having a chat with Adam Silver there. So we'll see what is happening. Hopefully, we get another round. Dennis is smiling. Dennis is in a good mood. I don't think John is in much bad mood, also, because, you know. He's facing Dennis, where a lot of people still believe he's the top of the food chain or the very top of the food chain. Oh, already. Never done already. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going in round number five. Oh. I'm super impressed with John. What John did today versus Dennis Siplenko is insane. Okay, so this is about can John get the nod of respect from Dennis Siplenko? Round five. Four nil. Congratulations, Dennis. Six round super match format straight into the straps. I feel like uh, Jabal ja will go home, but he's like, I might do this again. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he will absolutely. John, as, as, as humble as he is, he doesn't like losing. He doesn't like losing. And he is the absolute computer of arm wrestling. He will crack the code. He, in his head, he's like, I, I, I think I can do better. Yeah, and I think he can. And I think he can. And, and, and especially at 58 years old, he should be having grandkids that are competing against Dennis Sapleikov, not right. himself there. Right. He's just brilliant. But we'll go in there. Round five. Can John bring anything into this match? Okay. With Dennis getting the win there. Let's see how this goes. Hands. We're ready to go. And there's the hit there, and he's leaning back. We're stuck in the middle of the table. Where does Dennis go from there? Look at every single vein bursting from both of their forearms. John just trying to figure out where it goes. His hand is Dennis blowing great up. Great control, great control, great technical pulling from Dennis. Slowly working, slowly working. He, he knows he, he lacks maybe some of the power to finish it straight away. But he works from every right, position. 
Uh, John's saying, <laughs> put the sword to yeah. me. Oh, I'm yeah. done. And he's pulling <laughs> through there. There's nothing there. What, what John can do right now, he absolutely needs Dennis to surge a oh, little bit. Because then he can kind of pull him out position. There it is. Wow. Dennis Siplanko. He was just training you for like a goal of constrictor. So much hour power at this point. Forward and forward and forward. Hey, he apologizes. He also apologizes. He apologizes. Everyone at Paird right now is... Just popping their hands. And salute to be a good guy, Johnny presents Dennis Seplenko. What an amazing match. What an amazing performance. Dennis Seplenko is back. Those are the best news Armisen community has received in a long time. We will see Dennis Seplenko competing on table more and more. And he looks solid. Uh, I because it was 5 0. There should be round number six, but six. round number six. Yeah, so Jake got really confused. Jake just ran away. He's like, Well, they all they all started cheering and then they like started walking around. <laughs> they were like, handshaking, they were hugging, and they like raising hands and and hugging. And yeah, I got that one wrong, but they're going all six. That's what we wanted. This is just his second king of the table. He'll get better. He'll get better. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we saw an amazing match. We're going in round number six at this point. Let's see what happens. There's a good chance that Dennis is the nicest guy in arm wrestling. And we will see it right here. Yeah, we, def we definitely will. We, if you have followed Dennis's career, you know exactly what is coming right now. Uh, and this is where John gets the ultimate nod. Of respect, but this is the sixth round there. Yeah, I, I ran over to have a chat with them both because they were the, the, the crowd was clapping, they were hugging. You just got confused. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, mate, how could you not hey, with these? We, two we have so stars. much emotions on this match, it's just greatness on our wrestling table. Dennis Siplenko, John Berzink, and there's so much to do more. And I'm so happy we live in this I'm okay. new I'm era of our wrestling where these things are possible to do. We are witnessing history. The comeback of Dennis is real. It is done. And we are here round number six. And there's the hit there. And the press is coming in. But John is holding on and he's coming to this side of the table. There's a hook deep in the middle of the table. But John's got advantage here as they rock back Dennis and forth. said like he feels something. He doesn't want to go there that much. They're stuck in a hook. This is what John wanted to test, but that back pressure was just too much on those first rounds. Two absolute Let, Let's see in the who has a little bit win. more endurance in this position. <laughs> now the crowd is cheering and he's rocked him back and forth. Wow. He's rocked him. Now I will go back to the Yeah, table. Jake, get out of here. I, I don't know where Jake came back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed a return of one of the kings of Armisen, probably one of the strongest pullers Whoever stepped on arm sling table, and he's just getting started. John Bazing gave his best. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy we get a chance to witness this arm sling match. Absolutely dominant performance from Dennis Siplenko. But John showed that he has still some teeth in him, and he gave a great match to Dennis Siplenko. Right now, we're going to go to Jake for a little bit of interviews but just looking back at this match a lot of back pressure from john but dennis had amazing endurance he had a lot of power in the last match even in the press trying it in a hook john was like no you're too much and yeah right now ozzy armas or jake with the interview Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. You have just witnessed history in arm wrestling. And I am here with John. John, congratulations. You knew it was tough against it. Can you just explain to everyone how the great Dennis feels? He feels in very good shape. He's, uh, I don't know if he's completely back yet, but he's definitely on his way. His hand is seriously... Seriously, the strongest I've ever felt. So, yeah, it's crazy strong. 
the strongest you've ever felt. Wow, I can, uh, yeah, you're huffing and puffing. I can hear it, man. And put it all out there. The containment that this, this man has is incredible. So, uh, yeah, and he's got that little bit back pressure. Now he's got that, uh, it's not really, it's a good top roll. It's a, uh, just a side pressure hand control top roll. It's, uh, it's hard to go through. What were the feelings after round one when you gave it everything? You got a couple of stops. We were losing it in the commentary booth. We almost killed the pay-per-view feed because we were so excited. Did you think you were still in it or were you like, I had a little purchase. I had, I had a, a good setup in the strap. I felt my hand was in good position. Um, I was twisting with my thumb pretty well. Um, the only thing I would have liked to have had is it be on my side of the table a little bit. It was a little bit too much on his side, which kept my hand uh, flat and really took its toll on my forearm. I really couldn't. Uh, it really takes a, a beat. The forearm takes a beating when it's stretched out like that. But no, I felt good. Actually, I'm super thrilled that I had the arm strength to kind of hang with him. Um, I was worried that he was just going to surge and just blow me off the side of the table. So I'm really very satisfied with uh, my performance. I, I would have liked to have done a little better, obviously, but the man's in super shape. I mean, he's, I, I'm so happy that he's, he's back and he's um, pursuing the sport. And you're going to see a lot more of this guy. And a lot more as in rematch? Uh, I don't, I'm not going to get any better, and I'm sure he's going to get a little bit better. So um, we'll see what the future holds. But, yeah, I'm, I'm always open. Uh, John, it's an absolute honor, mate. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest arm wrestler of all time, John Brzezink. My man, the cyborg. Congratulations. First thing... First thing I just want to say, welcome back to arm wrestling. Первую очередь, Денис, добро пожаловать снова в арм рестлинг. How did you feel out there, Dennis? Were, were you super nervous or did it just come back naturally as if you never left the table? Денис, как ты ощущал себя за столом? Так же нервничал, как ты говорил нам на интервью Перед, или ты просто ворвался, как раньше, и чувствовал себя очень уверенно? Не, ну первые два раунда все-таки э, как раз были самые опасные, как раз когда ты прощупывал, да? Ну и потом уже понимал то, что вывозишь по выносливости, там уже было попроще. Ну первые два раунда такие были <laughs> опасные. Well, I would say that first two rounds were tough for me. Uh, they were the most dangerous ones. And uh, these were the time when I had to understand, um, do I have enough of endurance? And after that, uh, the next rounds were already, okay, I felt more confident. So what does now the future hold for Dennis? Was this a one and done match? Or are we looking to have more matches and keep you on the table? И снова этот вопрос, Денис. Как ты думаешь, что будет в будущем для тебя? Uh, был ли это такой, uh, как бы, одноразовый uh, поединок, uh, ивент, или же ты хочешь дальше продолжать? Ну, конечно, я же сказал, после поединка будет понятно, что дальше. Конечно, уверенности прибавилось, хочется дальше готовиться ну, и выступать. Of course, yes, as I said, uh, I got more confidence now, I want to prepare more, and I want to perform more. Last question, who would you like next? Последний вопрос, Денис. Скажи нам, кого бы ты хотел видеть в следующем? Ну, не, не то, чтобы хотел, уже есть договоренность определенная. Уже как бы назад дороги нет, это Девон через, 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 пол, через полгода. I mean, I don't have to translate that. You're all hurt. Uh, there is no way out, no way back. Uh, Devon, definitely. Yeah, you heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, the cyborg, Dennis Saplenkov. <laughs>